And you're back on the Metal Scene TV show. How'd you like those videos, I man? I love those totally videos. Totally kicked ass. Even though there was like a remotely gay moment for a split second. Oh. <laughs> hey, I'd like to thank Roadrunner Records for sending us the video of Holy Diver, Kill Switch Engage, and also uh, Metal Blade Records for sending us the Amon Marth one, and Cartoon Network for the... the Dev Clock. Dev Clock. That was All right. pretty cool. Yeah, it's so cool. Yeah. Hey, we have a caller. Hey, caller, are you there? Hey, how's it going? All right. What's your name and where are you from, man? My name's Jason. I'm in Granada Hills right now. Kind of bummed out because I'm just uh, west of the 405 freeway, so I can't even watch the show. Aww. Oh no, man! <laughs> yeah. Well, I tell you something. The show's kicking ass right now. We got I some great, great videos, and we got our favorite band on the show, Rusty Eye from Hollywood, California. That's why and I called. Gonna, then they got their new video um, that uh, they're going to show, and it's like a debut um, so live Mr. on our Cannibal? TV show. Yeah, Mr. Mr. Cannibal. Cannibal, you got Mr. it, Cannibal, man. Cannibal, yeah, I've been uh, waiting for that video. All right, man. Hey, anyway, thanks for calling, man. That's too great. Hey, Rusty Eye's awesome, man. Thank you, man. Stay brutal. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and let's introduce our guest band. We got Rusty Eye from Hollywood. Hey, welcome Yay. to the show, guys. <laughs> Why don't you guys introduce yourselves and what instruments you play and stuff? Well, I'm Miss Randall. I play I play drums and I sing. I'm Mr. Rust. I play <laughs> bass and sing. Uh, some of you guys might know me as the Baron. Uh, I'm back on guitars now. All right. And you? I am just the guy that directed the video for Mr. Cannibal. Excellent All right. video, by the way. Good Thank job you. doing yeah. that. So, how did you guys come about to create this great video, man? How did that all come about? We, well, uh, we met uh, when we uh, we played in support for uh, Moonspell and Catatonia last year, and uh, well, he saw that we had a potential to to make a video it, that I was like horror oriented because our music is very like immersed in the Italian horror cinema. So mm -hmm. he liked it, and uh, so we came. Yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah. Moonspell, Catatonia, I saw a band and I said, like, there's a blonde chick playing drums. And then she was <laughs> kicking them and they did some Slayer. I'm like, that's just insane. Uh -huh. And then, uh, you know, they were just going crazy in the front. Three people, only a trio. So that's uh -huh. not that normal. And then um, one thing led to the other. They spoke Spanish. I'm like, so you're Mexicans? That's even weirder. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> Well, not for LA, but basically. Yeah. <laughs> and... Uh, you know, I met them, I saw their collection of horror movies, and I'm like, oh, well, wow. these guys are at the yeah. same uh, mind level that I am with all the insanity and blood and guts, and <laughs> came up with the yeah. idea, and then there goes the video. Sick right. minds think alike then. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> there were several things in the video that I saw, like similar to Hostel, um, Hannibal Lecter. Yes. And are you a big Dario Argento fan as well? I love him. He's one of my idols. Anything Italian, Lucio Fulci, Lamberto Bava, Dario Argento, and of course, uh, looking at the hostel films, they have a very interesting look on them. Mm -hmm. And when we did the color correction, it was geared towards that dark basement greenish look. Cool. Evil. Now, uh, <laughs> Russia, you guys are very a unique band because you're more of a horror uh, band, band type band and yes. stuff like that. But not, the, not not like Guar or, or yeah. like other bands would be. It's more in there but we don't like dress up and like you know spill right. blood and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so basically you're like at a grassroots uh following and uh, that's what it seems like uh where you, where you guys are coming from Absolutely. and stuff like that. you got to understand uh where you're coming from to really appreciate your type of music and where direction you're going yeah, to exactly. and it's really really cool i really like it because it's totally different than what's what's out there from the older Ordinary metal bands are just out there rocking, but you guys actually got a, like a theme, a, a direction, and stuff like that where you're going. That's Thank right. you very That's much. really, really <laughs> cool. And makes you unique and stuff like that. So, uh, how did you start playing drums? How did I start playing drums? Yeah. Uh, I've always been into, you know, percussions and all that. And uh, actually, the band that got me into playing drums was Rush, of mm -hmm. course, cool. and I'm, I'm a big fan of Neil Peart. And of course, I met uh, Rusty Eye through friends, and uh, they were looking for a drummer at the mm -hmm. time. And I, so I, I and that I'm was in learn. Mex that was in Mexico. Yeah, I was back wow. in Mexico in 2002, <laughs> and I just decided like I'm gonna learn to play drums, and that's it. Now, what is your opinion on a lot of um, bands nowadays that are female fronted? Do you think it's more of a trend than anything else? Definitely, I would say that. Um, the metal scene is very much just like in, in t the girls that are into metal or that play metal are just like singing or you know doing bass whatever mm -hmm. there's not a lot of like powerful women that you know actually play 
uh, like a guy, but look like a chick or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, be one of the guys. Uh, I want, uh, that's what I want to be, one of the guys. Mr. Ross, so when uh, did you ask Julie to join the band, or she auditioned, or? No, she uh -huh. she wanted to, to join so much that she learned from from <laughs> scratch, <laughs> and uh, be, it was very impressive because it, it didn't take that long. You know, a few months later, she was playing the the good shows in in Mexico oh and all God. that. Wow, right on, that's land. good. Our last show was very very representative, and then we came here. Uh, we had Reverend D on guitars, and then we had, you know, Tony Merlin, who, who recorded um, Stendhal Syndrome in 2006, oh, and okay. so far, so good. Do you want to be in horror films also at some point, or just be in the band? I would love to be in horror movies. I would love to just for fun, but yeah, I, I definitely I want to be in a metal band. You oh. heard that, Alejandro? <laughs> you got to do a metal horror film. That's the next project. Okay. That's uh, that's great. And she laid there for hours while we were cutting her up. Didn't you complain? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go check out the video. Okay, here's a rusty eye, Mr. Cannibal. Okay, let's roll the video. All right, great job on that yeah. video, man. Alejandro, great job. You Yay. did everything, editing, Thank directing, you. and stuff like that? Well, uh, just came up with the concept with the guys, and then uh, I had a very nice, I'm uh, lucky to have a very good team of an editor, color corrections, and right. uh, director of photography with me. Okay, well that's all the time we have for today's show. I'd like to thank Rusty Eye for showing us, and check them out in their MySpace. Your username is Rusty Eye. That's yes. right. All right, yeah. go on there and check us out, the Metal Scene TV show as well. And thanks for watching the Metal Scene. We'll catch you guys next time. Thank you. Rustin, Goodbye. <laughs>